Welcome to the Millbrook Railroad. What? We're rolling film. Hang on. Welcome to the Millbrook Railroad. We're pulling more equipment out of the old Osby Central here, so excuse me. Fit all three pieces on the turntable at once. Yeah. Actually, you can. Huh. Well, we don't know where we can fit that in. I don't know if we can or not either, but. But it fits on the turntable. All right, so the locomotive here, this locomotive dates back to the 1950s. I did get some update on the uh, on on this railroad. So let's start at the beginning. This railroad was built in 1970. Um, the uh, information I had before was incorrect. So uh, it still makes it among the oldest private surviving private railways in uh, in the country, but. Uh, not the oldest, so, well, not as, uh, not as exciting as uh, the oldest, but it's close, because these things, uh, they come and go um, so much. So we've got a uh, caboose here with some, uh, some nice trucks under it. Uh, we've got a newer car here with uh, some fairly recent trucks under it, and this uh, engine here was built, uh, um, Possibly late 1950s, early 1960s. So, certainly, uh, it's a homemade thing. It's it's ugly, and a lot of homemade locomotives are ugly. All right, so let's look inside this little critter. What do we got in here? We've got looks like a, either a choke or a throttle cable. Yeah, what, there's two. That's a, oh, one's okay, broken. This, this is, a, this is the uh, choke cable here. Yeah, and if this is the yeah. throttle, it's disconnected from wherever it 
connected yeah. too. We haven't figured that out yet. Yeah, this, this and disconnected. And you've got the two. This so is you've got these the... two levers on the back. Yeah, we got we got mouse stuff in here quite a, a lot. Bigger. There's some big droppings in there. Maybe what? rats or maybe raccoons or something. Yeah, I was trying to figure out. Um, it, there's a belt down here. I see in all this stuff. I'm glad I've got gloves on. Hmm. <laughs> this is obviously the, something to start it with. I'd say. Oh, that's the. Because it, it wraps around this, do you see? Yeah. And there's, yeah, that's what the the knot, the knot on the end was for, yep. though, going around this. It's free, the engine. Mm. No compression, though. Oh, there is no compression. It's like, yeah. Wow. Well, that's not good. This comes so off. What do we got too. inside here? This that comes off. Some sort of difficulty. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, that comes off. And then that comes off easily. Oh, okay. So Something's been chomping away at this. So, oh, I see. Yeah, so we've got this this big wheel here that, that uh, pushes against this or this, and that was the uh, traction drive control. So this was spinning, obviously, and yeah. it's now been chomped away by some animal. Yeah. Sadly, it's leather by the look Eaten of it. Eaten away by mice, yeah. Uh, and these springs, I don't know whether they, what all this is about. This is... Yeah, it's obviously a long time since it's run this, I'd say. Mm, I'd say so. So this is... Uh, a friction clutch. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting drive. Very simple. Yeah, it's what they did on the old cars, yeah. this. Okay. Really early. Um, Probably but, where you got the idea, because you I don't know restore what, old cars. I don't know what these are from. Hmm. But see, there's this block here too, which obviously had some sort of... Hmm. And, uh, unfortunately, no one knows. True, but if you if you take these levers, uh, get hit, that way for move. forward, or and yeah. then this way for the other direction, yeah. whichever it is you're going. Looks like reverse. But this here, this this fasten, what are they for? And that it's obviously bits mm. come off somewhere, and this one here too. Yeah. Well, a bit of a mystery, I'd say. Mm. It's in a sad state for sure. Well, let's push it back into the engine house for now. We can pick this up on another trip. I'd say it's uh, around the wrong way. Um, there we are. All right, so this goes back in. Oh, oh yeah, it's, here's another feature it's got. So you can tell it's supposed to be sat on because you've got this here in the front, which is probably the throttle. And this is here in back, which is probably the choke. Yep. And, well, it, and then these levers to start. Yeah, and these levers so for... So you can work backwards like this, yeah. or sitting here. Or you can sit on a sit side saddle on here, or something like that. Um, and there's, uh, looks like this is maybe a control, maybe not. Well, that's the same one as this. Yeah, it's the same one, yeah. <clears throat> oh, I see. So you can do it from sitting on here, or not. And here, here's... <coughs> Here's something here. It looks like it might have been a throttle at some point. It's got teeth on it for, for notching it in different places. And that's yeah. probably what those springs were for. Yep. So, and of course the pegs. And we'll put the pegs back in. Oh, derailed it. Well, oh, it is officially a Millbrook Railroad video. Uh, something, uh, something There's big there. scat in there. So wow. What animal is in there? All right, now we'll just line it up again here. Well, that's all, because this thing usually works we'll well. We just bumped it, that's all. Yeah. All right, just slide it back in now. Bye-bye. It's clear he was a Boston and Maine fan. He's very Boston and Maine looking. So, it's not a bad thing. I'm rather fond of the old Boston and Maine myself. Now I've got to load some of this stuff. brought the Jeep back more. Yeah. We didn't have a thing to go across. Oh yeah, we've got this uh, portable track here we should probably throw on top of the riding car.
Happies. Cast iron. Before we do you want to re to the top? It's nailed on for the walls. What's the what about check the other end? Doesn't have it on the other end. Much in there either. I did have it on the other one. So yeah, so that. Yeah. All right. Got the electronics in there and the uh, near the ladder. And uh, bend this back down. It's just metal. Let's make it look amazing. Oh uh, yeah, don't forget, if you like what you see on this channel, give us a, a subscribe before you earned it. That's, uh, that helps out a lot. We're also on Patreon, patreon.com slash Millbrook Railroad. And give us a thumbs up. Hit that bell notification icon too if you don't want to miss a single video. That's, uh, I, I, I get a number of people uh, saying that they've, that they've lost the, the channel and just rediscovered it again, so... Hit the bell notification icon if you don't want to miss another video from the Millbrook Railroad. And we've got lots more projects. We've got seam locomotive restoration. We've got shady pines. We've got shady pines. Uh, rebuilding, rebuilding a piece of track twice in, in a weekend. <laughs> Thanks to heavy rains. Uh, and uh, of course we've got moving the uh, the Osby Central to the Millbrook Railroad. This is going to be uh, quite the project, quite the project indeed. Those two are joined yeah, as well. Yep. Yeah. Now these two are single team. Oh, they were joined. Got it. Right, 
So we're going to try it up that end. Turn cables going down right behind you. It's easier to put in from the back. There's handles inside. Yeah. And it's easier to line up too. Yes, sir. That's what I have discovered. It's easy to do that too. From both sides. It'd help you, but I gotta hold this handle up to drop the turntable. Hey, you want me to do that for you, or are you straining yourself, Fred? You wanna do this? I'll put the doors in. I don't care. Uh. Uh. Let's see if this thing's going this way. Well, here we are back at the Shady Pines Railroad. We're going to offload these cars. So, I figure out a place to hang the camera. Yeah, something. Whoop. You're taking just one? Yeah. Two. Now, this side. Got it. Now we can move the caboose out. You on one side, me on the other? Yep. It's freaking heavy. You swallow it, son. It is. You can come down. Get it. Yeah, we've got position. I got one side. I haven't yet. I've got to move back. Yeah, you move back. Right. That's easy enough. He doesn't seem to have done any maintenance on these since he got them. Mm. Or made them, or whatever. No, well, this one seems heavier actually. It is. There's those two cars, nothing really special, but uh, some uh, interesting trucks underneath the caboose. They look like uh, passenger trucks. Neat looking car. This, uh, this van here. Uh, we'll reattach the, the jewelry to it, all the railings and stuff, but that's not a big deal. Easily done. There we go. Now I gotta get the Jeep out of the way because somebody's coming up the driveway.
fill oil thing? Suicide corner, not going to make it. Wet rail. Right. Well, the rails are pretty wet right on that steepest part right now. Yeah, I know. That made it difficult. Yeah, I haven't slipped there at all this week going up and down, this I've got to say. It's been good. So there's the whole view of the station, which I made up in the big barn and out of all scrap stuff that was there, old windows and doors and siding and whatever else I could find. And uh, there it is on the old foundation. So there's Aaron. Off you go, Aaron. <laughs> well, I want the camera back, though. You want the camera? <laughs> yeah. I was rather enjoying myself. Okay, like I said, the little mud jump center. I'll throw that other point that I just went over. No, that's the wrong one. Oh, we gotta put the car down there, right? Yeah. Yep. Put the car down there. There's more room I'll go down to.
Kabai and Kabai go together. There's another caboose down there too. stuff in the uh, temporary storage at Shady Pines Railroad, which has a whole lot more storage indoors than I have right now. Uh, we got the 71 plugged into a charger that it's not usually used to, but eh, it still works. Um, just have to take things apart to do it. Still get the regular maintenance done. Um, this is uh, Shady Pines C40 caboose. And uh, that's the, the roof of the 71 sitting on top of it. I know, it looks ugly. But uh, they used to be Millbrook C40. All the rest is down uh, there in storage. <laughs> yeah, the rest is all down there in storage. Down past the turntable and all that. Uh, yeah. So let's see. Let's take an inventory. We've got the, uh, we've got the uh, caboose here. The Osby Central caboose. We've got... One, two, the green riding cars. We've got the, the redding riding car and the uh, OCR tank car. So that's, uh, that's pretty much everything except the uh, hopper car, which is up on the Millbrook Railroad, and the, uh, the 662, which was built in June of 1962, so I found out, which explains the number. So there's uh, pretty much all the rolling stock except the little uh, little gas mechanical from the Osby Central. So we've got uh, uh, most of that stuff out of there so far. We've got uh, some more to uh, to grab. I guess that's going to be one more trip. So uh, that'll be uh, that'll be good to have that part done, and then we can work on the other parts like uh, you know, the track and the engine facilities and. Uh, the the turntable lift that's going to be the the big project, uh, and the uh, the the engine house, that's going to be a big project too. So, stay tuned. We got more coming on the uh, on this channel for saving the Osby Central Railway. And uh, if you did enjoy this video, hit the thumbs up button. Um, you can also join us on Patreon if you would like to uh, support the uh, the channel in a more substantial way. Um, it's patreon.com slash Millbrook Railroad. And, uh, of course, you can subscribe on uh, YouTube here and uh, hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss a single video because uh, subscriptions don't do what they used to do, apparently. And uh, let's see. Let's move out into the sun here. And, of course, you can go to millbrookrailroad.com. That's millbrookrailroad.com. We've got a GoFundMe uh, uh, going over there to uh, raise money for... For the purchase and moving, especially the moving, the moving more than anything else of the Osby Central Railway, because it's going to cost more money than the purchase did. So that's uh, that's a big chunk of change right there. Moving buildings, even if they're small, is not cheap, and uh, moving garage lifts isn't cheap either. You got to hire a rigger, so yeah, or or hire somebody who knows what they're doing. Either way, those people aren't cheap, so. That's why we're doing a fundraiser over there. So if you want to help, uh, if you want to help out with this project, the preservation project, you can go to uh, MillbrookRailroad.com. So thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. What was a glacial pace?
I bet if it was white, it would probably come down quicker. Oh, most definitely.